okay, and now in this video, we want to find the domain of this function. So we have the function g of x to be the logarithm of 2 minus x divided by x. So the base of this function is just x. Hmm. How do we possibly figure out what the domain of this function will be? Well, um, before I jump right into it, let me look at a little background when we talk about logarithmic functions, okay? So if, if we have a function, let's say y equals to the logarithm of, um, let's say b, okay, where the base, where b is the base, raised to some function of x, okay, let's say u of x, then, as well as we have it that the u of x should contain every function of x such that when evaluated at x, okay, the u of x will be greater than zero, and the base b should also be greater than zero, and b should not be equal to one. So, our emphasis is this, the logarithm of something, okay, whatever we have here, it should be greater than zero for a logarithm to be defined, because logarithm of negative numbers does not exist in the set of real numbers, and logarithm of zero doesn't even exist. Good. And then the base, the base should be a positive real number that is not equal to one for the logarithm to make sense, okay? Good. So using this restriction for the base, if we compare this with that given function, you will notice that in the position of the base, x is there, all right? So that simply tells us, from this fact, that simply tells us that x should be greater than zero and x should not be equal to one. Good. Okay, so using this right here, that gives us a very nice uh, domain for that function, but we are not still done yet. Let's look at the entry. The entry here is two minus x. Taking note of the fact that the logarithm function is only defined if the entry is greater than zero. So we wanna find the value of x such that two minus x must be greater than zero all the time, okay? So let's just start by doing this. We just say two minus x should be greater than zero, right? Okay, so by doing that, that really tells us that um, two is greater than x. Okay, so I just move x to the right hand side of the inequality. So if two is bigger than x, that tells us that x is strictly, okay, less than two. So this right here is also another thing to also consider that this function will be defined as long as x is less than two, and as well for the base, the base consists of every positive um, real number and not equal to one. So if you want to intersect these two intervals, okay, this is greater than zero and not one, but this one is less than two. We are going to have that the domain of that function, which we denoted as g of x is, now, from zero, but excluding one, okay, we go to one, and we exclude that one, union from one to two, but we exclude two. Good, so you can notice how that goes, from zero, greater than zero, and not equal to one. So I'm taking from zero to two, but I've excluded one. And notice zero is not included, and two as well is not included. So we're talking about every real number line between zero and two, with zero excluded, two excluded, and one excluded. And that's right there forms the domain of that function. So this is the domain. Okay, great, right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.